How the heck is it going, Ninja Clan? Welcome to episode 11 of my Wind Waker HD walkthrough series. Last time, we finally made it to Outset Island again. This time, we will get Nehru's Pearl as well as do a few quests on Outset Island. So first, you'll want to cross the bridge and go to the left-hand side of the island. Then you'll want to go up the hill and go to the upper part of the island. When you get to where the bridge used to be, you'll notice that the bridge is out. Fairy Fountain side ahead. Increase your fortune. So, when you get to the bridge, turn around and go higher onto the hill and get on top of this rock here. Then point yourself towards the cave on the opposite end and change the wind direction. Change the wind direction to the west. Once the wind direction is changed, hop off of the rock and activate your Deku Leaf to, to glide across. Drop down and get some magic. Then enter the Forest of Fairies. There will now be a Mossila in the Forest of Fairies, so go ahead and defeat it. Once you've defeated the Mossila, climb the trunk of the tree and jump to the next part of the cave, and you will see a giant stone. Get on the platform with the giant stone, and if you want you can read the sign. Fairy Fountain Site. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his wariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune, so it came to be known as the Fountain of the Fortune Goddess. When you're ready, equip a bomb and bomb the rock and run away. Once the hole is uncovered, drop in the hole. Go speak to the Great Fairy. <laughs> Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. You can now carry more rupees. Now you can hold up to 5,000 rupees. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. Now, collect fairies in all of your bottles is what I would recommend. You got a fairy in your bottle. When your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion, this fairy will replenish your strength. So when you're ready, leave the Forest of the Fairies. When you're ready, drop down and use your Deku Leaf. And go ahead and glide over to the other side of the island. And head into Orca's house so we can earn a piece of heart.
and speak with Orca. Ah, clumsy. You are all right. Why did you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtless of you. This island has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hmm, I do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. Okay. So accept his challenge, and we will have to hit him at least 500 times before he hits us three times. If I must say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me 100 times or more before I hit you three times. So we're actually going to try and hit him 500 times at least before he hits us three times. So what, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to target him and hit him four times and then hold up your shield until he hits you and then hit him four more times and hold up your shield again until he hits you and continue that process. The main tool you'll have to complete this challenge is patience. Patience is key. If you have the slightest feeling that he's about to attack, keep your shield raised until he does attack. Because you only have three hits before the competition is over. And patience is very, very much needed in this contest. Sometimes an A will appear for you to parry his attacks. Resist the urge to press it though, as he will usually be faster than your parry attack and take away a heart. So ignore the A button, and any time he attacks you, make sure to have your shield up. Your shield is your best friend in this next to your patience. Step 1, left trigger to target. Step 2, hit him 4 times. And step 3, hold up your shield to block from his attacks and repeat the process. And sometimes your attacks will bounce off his staff and it will make a metallic clinking noise. If it does that, immediately press the right trigger to guard against his incoming attack. Because that will indicate that he is immediately going to attack. And if your left targeting finger ever gets tired, simply put your other finger on the button and give your other finger a little break. As you approach 500 hits, make sure to remain patient and just keep following the strategy. Once you get over 500 hits, make sure to lose purposefully. So let him hit you three times. Enough! If we had continued and gotten over 999 hits, we would have gotten a different prize from the piece of heart, and so we would have had to do it again. So if you want the piece of heart, get over 500, but less than 999. Uh, I believe each level has its own prize. For 100 hits or more, it's 50 rupees. For 300 hits or more, it's 100 rupees. For 500 hits or more, it's a piece of heart. And for over 999 hits, it is him recognizing you as master as well as 200 rupees. Ah, 523 blows. You have improved. You have already become a fine swordsman, but I am certain you can do even better. Clumsy, take this. You got a piece of heart. Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. More heart containers equals more life. I can't stress enough how key patience was to beating that challenge. 
you definitely have to stay patient and definitely use your shield anytime that he's attacking. So I recommend attacking four times, bringing up your shield, waiting for him to attack your shield, and then attacking him four times again and doing that over and over again until you eventually reach the level that you're trying to get. I'm going to do this again to get over 999 hits to be recognized as master from Orca as well as 200 rupees. So here we go. Do you wish to fight me again? What say you, clumsy? Sure. <laughs> Are you happy just being a swordsman? Surely you can do better than that. Keep coming at me until I hit you three times. Yes, sir, or Orca. Enough! Impressive, Clumsy. I lost count of how many times you struck me. You have learned all I have to teach, Master Clumsy. Master, it is not much to speak of, but please take this. Alright, you got a silver rupee. One is worth a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. Ah. Uh, how pleasant my arm feels numb. Master, is your left index finger not numb as well? No, I switched between them, so I'm good. All right, now we are the rank of master, so that's nice. We got some bragging rights. Okay. Master breaking all of his apprentice's pots. Once you're done, head out of Orca's house. And make your way to Grammy's house. Go inside and talk to Grammy. Clumsy. Errol, don't go. Don't leave. Uh, don't leave your poor old grandma. All alone. Uh, uh. So obviously she is having some nightmares. So pull out one of your fairies in a bottle and left target her and use the fairy in the bottle. This will heal her and lift her spirits. Oh, Clumsy. Is that you, Clumsy? Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Clumsy, my dear sweet Clumsy. You're safe. That's just wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Errol are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Clumsy. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. You're not a terrible grandma, Grammy. Clumsy, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. You got elixir soup. This healthy soup your grandmother makes replenishes all your life energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? 
You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you any time you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you try to be strong too. But don't do anything reckless, all right? So this stuff is great. Whenever we have an empty bottle, we can come to her to get some soup. But we can only have one bottle of her soup at a time in, in our inventory. But the soup is great because it replenishes both the hearts and the magic and makes us twice as strong as we are until we take our first damage. And there's two helpings in the bottle. So it's pretty overpowered stuff. Once you are done talking to your grandma, go intercept Beetle's shop ship and refill your bait. So I recommend buying enough Hyoi pears so you have at least three Hyoi pears in your bag and then filling up the rest of your bait bag with all-purpose bait. Bye. Bye! Once you are done refilling your bait bag, go ahead and leave and talk to your boat. Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the backside of Outset, where Jaboon is said to hide. So go ahead and get on your boat and sail to the back of the island. When you are at the back of Outset, you will see a giant whirlpool. I suggest you enter the giant whirlpool from the right side. And get out your bombs. You are going to try and blow up the stone slab, so aim for the topmost part of the stone slab first and hit it with a few bombs. Then aim for the midsection of the stone slab and hit that with a few bombs. And finally aim for the lowest section of the stone slabs and hit that with a bomb. That should make the whirlpool disappear and a cutscene should play. That's indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. <laughs> yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one, and yet I sense the great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. Nice, that was easy. Didn't even have to go through a dungeon. You got Nehru's Pearl. 
The water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. That was a big fish. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Clumsy? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. All right. So if you look at the map, if you look at the map, he has marked three islands there around that blank space. Those islands are Northern Triangle Island, Eastern Triangle Island, and Southern Triangle Island. We are not quite going to head to those islands right away. Instead, we are going to get a few more optional items throughout the Great Sea before progressing the story. But we'll do that next time. I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did enjoy this episode and found it helpful, make sure to leave it a positive rating. If you didn't enjoy it or didn't find it helpful, please make sure to leave it a negative rating. If you'd like to join the Ninja Clan and see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can share this video around if you'd like, and it would really, really help me out if you wanted to donate to either my Subscribestar or my Patreon to unlock exclusive rewards. But even if you guys don't do any of that, I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this video. Alright Ninja Clan, I'll see you next time. Bye.